Today I'm here to give a quick spoiler video for The Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 12. Thus being said, courtesy goes to the Spoiling Dead fans and Bill Nye the Science Guy. <laughs> I'm just kidding, this is Bill Nye the Spoiler Guy. So with this being said, it starts off by saying, while Rick is walking through the Alexandria safe zone, there are two houses next door to one another. Aaron tells him they can have both. Rick, as a precaution, makes them sleep in one house in the same room for the first night. The leader of the Alexandria safe zone comes around and comments on them staying in the same house. The next day, Rick talks about them not having to share a room. So, so the leader, he's going to come in out of nowhere. He's going to pretty much, it, they're, they're keeping this part like really fucking accurate to the comic book. So he's just going to come in and say, hey, you're sleeping in one house as a precaution to see if you can trust us. That's that's pretty damn smart. So that's what, that's what he's going to tell Rick. So with us being said, while Rick is in the new house, he receives his first visitor. A shirtless Rick meets Alexandra. At the door, right away, she offers to cut his hair. Her son is around Carl's age, so they immediately have something in common. There are a few kids Carl's age and the and a girl that Carl may be interested in. Whew. So, spoilers. I'm going to do a spoiler for a fucking spoiler. So, the girl that cuts um, Rick's hair, they're going to fuck each other. Don't know how to better put it myself. <laughs> if it's that same girl that's from the comic book, Rick's and her going to bang continuously. Going to fuck each other. So, with us being said, if that's her, she's going to... The um, walkers are actually going to come in. Like this, go this, this, this is way down the line, people. So this is not in season five. This is probably possibly maybe in season six. So, thus being said, while this is happening, walkers get into Alexandria safe zone. While the walkers get into Alexandria safe zone, Rick decides to do his um, technique from season one: put walker guts all over his fucking body. Thus being said, walk the fuck out, and you safe. But her son can't keep a close fucking mouth. He starts to scream. Mommy! Gets bit. <clears throat> she gets bit as well. And she grabs Carl. Thus being said, um, Rick says, let go. She's just looking like, what? So Rick just says, let go of my son. And he cuts her fucking arm off. I'm just looking like, oh shit, that shit is crazy. I can't wait to that fucking season so I can see that shit. And where was I? Oh yeah. Each person in this group is given a specific job. Daryl is one is the only person who doesn't have a job assigned to him and doesn't seem to like this place. He spends a lot of time on the porch. At one point he scans a possum even though there is plenty of good food to eat. Oh shit, I already know where they look like they're going towards this. Daryl is not going to stay in the Alexandria safe zone. The way they are making it out to be, Daryl's going to be the guy with the burn mark on his face with Negan's group. So Daryl is pretty much, I don't know if they just making it seem that way, but the way that this is written, Daryl is going to leave the Alexandria safe zone, possibly in season six, seven. He's not going to stay there, may go to the hilltop or with um, a... What's his name again? Ezekiel, I believe. Ezekiel or Negan. Most likely, Negan. Daryl is not fucking staying in the Alexandria safe zone. You heard it fucking here first. But, um, thus being said, where was I? The group is shown how to do a run. A son of one of the community's leaders has a walker chained up, which ends up missing. It creeps up on the group from out of nowhere on one of them. One of them stabs the walker and the leader's son throws a fit. <laughs> Lizzie, anyone? And Glenn ends up punching the guy who chained the walker. The guy's mother thanks Glenn for teaching her son a lesson. Damn, talk about tough love. In the house, Carl is in. He hears a noise upstairs. With knife in hand, Carl opens the door. It, it's... It's empty apart from some magazines, which we find out later belong to the local kids. They use this house as a hangout. No walkers behind the door. No walkers behind the door, though. Carl is just imagining or thinking like his father, always on the lookout. So they're pretty much paranoid. Carl is getting the paranormal like behavior from Rick. He's pretty much emulating Rick's behavior. 
as a precaution to be safe. And at one point, Carol mentions to the group, may possibly get weak and if they stay at this community. They want to stay, but it's more of a concern that they will become weak. Rick then says they won't get weak. He goes out he goes on to say that if the people in the Alexandria safety zone don't make it, the group will just take it. Wow. Rick is going full on fucking evil, isn't he? So with this being said, if all ties in correctly with the comic book, um Rick and his people are actually going to get weak. They get weak at one point. Walkers actually invade the Alexandria safe zone due to the fact that it's steel panel. It is not um, nailed and concreted. So this is how they do it. The steel plates that they have in the Alexandria safe zone. The reason why they don't budge, even though the pipe is on there, they actually cement them into the ground and put another beam in just to be on the safe side. But one guy was actually lazy or he just actually just fucked up by mistake. He just hammered that motherfucking gigantic steel beam down. They didn't get to it yet by putting the cement down. So the walkers actually got, you know how walkers get when they get extra hungry. They get more aggressive. They get fucking Super Saiyan-like abilities. So with that being said, the walkers actually got into the Alexandria community by not having that panel cemented into the ground. And, um, Alexandria people... People from Alexandria, they were actually dying. That's how Rick actually chopped old girl's arm off. A lot of shit happened, man. Just know that the Alexandria safe zone was not always as safe until Rick and them showed up. Also, Rick goes fucking batshit crazy at one point saying, Hey, no one's going to take this for me and my family. We need this to survive. Actually pulls a gun out on the leader, threatening to end his life as well. Everyone just looked like, whoa, Rick, calm down, buddy. We're safe now. And shit just goes down in season six, most likely seven. There'd be a lot of filler in season six if they don't have that happen in season six. So with that being said, you guys, hope you guys like this spoiler video of The Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 12. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share this video and watch an ad or two. Help support the channel. With that being said, this is Herman Frost, Attack Weekly, over and out.